Hello and welcome back. So today I'm gonna show you what I did to make my vacuum board. Um, again, this is my ZenBot CNC. You saw some of my other videos, but now I'm finally getting the vacuum board set up. So I'll show you a couple videos of it cutting and explain some of that. Okay, again, uh, to re-go over this, I cut these with a quarter inch um, flat mill blade, and then I cut them 0.23 inches down, 0.23. Then you buy this foam core, um, it's really spongy tubing. It comes in a, like 50 feet or something, and you can lay yourself out a spot where your board's gonna sit. So you would just shove this in, you know, make it go around the corners, and then um, you could make it as big or as small as you need. Now, this table, when it's set up, you've got these plastic PVC from underneath, and I'll show you that in a second. I put a little bit of seal across here so that it uh, creates no vacuum leak there. And then, like I said, you can go with both or one. So you can turn on um, this pipe, this pipe or vice versa or both and then all you have to do is set her down on there and it'll suck even this the reason i picked this board is it's warped um so it's not sitting very well so when i turn it on i'll show you that you'll see there's the two pipes that go to the back there's the on off knobs you can see i have one on and one off and then i angled it way over to that side for now and there is the vacuum pump I'm using. Now nothing's glued together or anything right now. It's just kind of sitting there. I'm debating this is still not the permanent spot for this unit. Um, so I, I'm gonna leave it longer like that, but I might just put it in the center and come straight down from that pipe. So far it works great, so I'm not too concerned. saw in that video and it's very loud so I, I had to um, you know not talk while I was doing it but with this board on there I only have vacuum on this part of the board I could not shove it now what I could do is I was able to twist it but there's nothing on this end holding um, the reason that is is because with this board I may still use this board but I'll probably chop it off here and that's all the piece I will need. However, it does hold it down very well and I should have no problems cutting these boards with this vacuum table. Okay, well there we go. Uh, the vacuum table is complete on the ZenBot CNC and uh, I can't wait to get using it. So thanks for watching.